I'm going to do random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. If you're new to this game, look for links in the video description below to a tutorial and some resources that can teach you the fundamentals of the game. Also, there's a link to this player reference. In here is the Yaku table and scoring. It's a great resource when you're learning how to play. And if you have tiles at home, give random pulls a try. It's a great way to train yourself to see the strength in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do six random pulls. We'll alternate between east and south round. We'll roll these dice just to randomize which seat we are in. For the first pull, we're going to be in north seat. The progression for Dora is east, south, west, north. So west is Dora for the first pull. We have two cracks, two dots, three bams, six honors, including a pair of south. If these were your dealt tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discard? If these were my tiles, I would focus on Honitsu. Here's a three, four, five already. Chi, potential pwn. We would have to pair up and pwn these honors. The door indicator is south, so there's only one more, but we're ready to pwn. I think I would play Honitsu here. Discard these. We have a three, four, five. Maybe discard the dots first. South round. We are Player one, east. Six crack is Dora right here. If these, we have six dot six cracks including a pair and Dora, four bams including a pair, three single honors. If these were your dealt tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discard? If these were my tiles, I think I would try to play Pinfu and Richi. We would need Chi tiles to break this up though, because we have a pair right here. I would discard these first. Pair nine, potential Chi, potential Chi, potential Chi. Here's a pair, isolated. If we could maybe get Chi tiles here or here, and use the pair that remains out, outside the chi, basically. Or maybe what we could do, well, no, use that as the pair. See, we would need either a chi here or here. We can't use pairs with pinfu. Two, anyway. We need one, but we also need a side weight, and we don't have any side weights in here except right here. And that would leave isolated tiles. Let's see, one, two, three, four. We still need a pair, but at least this gives us a side weight, three, four. There's a side weight there too, six, seven. So maybe this would be the way to block it. 
one, two, three, four, pair up one of these. Discard these first either way, and we can use Dora. Pinfu and Richi. That's what I would play here. East round. This time we're going to be in south seat. Nine bam is Dora. We have two dots, a six crack. We have eight bams, including three pair single honors. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discard? If I were playing these tiles, I would play Honitsu, have flesh. Discard these first. Pwn, 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 chi, potential. Obviously, these are pairs, so I would try to pwn, pwn, pwn. And then we'd need a pair. Another thing we might consider is Ipiku, which is pure double chi. If we can draw threes, one, two, three, one, two, three. Pair, chi, pair up, pwn. It's a possibility, but Ipiku is concealed. If the tiles are discarded and we pwn these and chi even, we could be waiting on a pair or maybe pair up. I don't like waiting on a pair. A single weight with all exposures, that is awkward. So I would just discard these and see what happens. But if these pwn tiles go down, I would be tempted to call them and pwn, pwn and chi. And we're set up for Dora. South round. We're going to be in South Seat. Eight Bam is Dora. We have three dots. Four bams, including a pair, three cracks, single honors, some chi potential here, 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 isolated. Potential use with Dora on the far side. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discard? If I were playing these tiles, I would discard these first and play Pinfu and Richi. Here's even a side weight right there, seven, eight. Pair, potential chi, potential chi, side weight. We have two side weights, one, two, three, four blocks. We need more number tiles. Tiles to draw in these isolated tiles would be ideal. Maybe a four or six. I would discard these first and play Pinfu and Richi. East round. I rolled a nine, so we're going to be east.
Five crack is Dora. We have a four crack. So here we have three cracks, including a pair of nines, five bams, singles, chi potential, five dots, isolated, pair of nines, chi potential, single honor. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discard? If I were playing with these tiles, I would play Chanta. Discard four, five, six. Maybe even Junchan. So Chanta is where you have a one or a nine in each block. And then of course, Windsor Dragons. Junchan is where you have terminals in all the blocks. We have a pair of nines here and here. Oh, we'd have to get rid of those. But we have a three, a seven, nine, and a two. So if we played Chanta, we have one extra tile that we could maybe pair up. But we could pwn and even chi if we wanted to. Let's see here. We have two pair. I just wondered if we could maybe instead play Pinfu. Isolated. Pair, potential chi, potential chi, potential chi, one, two, three, four. We have that pair there, so we wouldn't need another pair. Maybe what we should do here is discard the South first. Focus on Junchan or Pinfu. If we draw in Chi tiles, maybe leverage the four, six, three, four, the number tiles. So maybe discard the south. That way too, we could maybe even work in Dora. So maybe Pinfu, I would say either Pinfu and Ricci or Junchan, terminals and all. We have no ones though. It's these pairs that make me think about Junchan. But we have two, and then we have a potential chi. Otherwise, we have isolated little numbers. And we'd have to throw away one, two, three, four, five tiles. For Pinfu, we might be able to use a lot of these. We'd have to take it pick by pick, though, and stay concealed. Playing Pinfu, though, we might be able to work in Dora. South round. Last pull. This time, we're going to be the dealer. Three dot is Dora. We do not have it, but we do have a two four. We have a single bam, a pair of eights with cracks, five dots with a pair, honors, including a pone of green dragons. That's called Yakuhai. So if these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discard?
If I were playing these tiles, I think I would discard the four bam first. Maybe even sacrifice the eights and play half flesh. Work in Dora. We could pwn, chi pwn, isolated. Of course, we'd have to pair up. There's a pwn. One, two, three, three blocks, single honors. That's painful. Maybe what we could do though instead, one, two, three, four. Maybe what we could do instead is Yaku high as the, as the Yaku, Pwn of Dragons, and then do any other mixture. We could Pwn, Chi, Pwn. All we need in here is a pair. One, two, three, four blocks. All we need is a pair. But here, Pwn, Chi with Dora, Pwn, Yaku high. Yakuhai and maybe Dora discard four bam first. If we draw in more dots or pair up a dragon, I would sacrifice these eights for a half flesh. If that makes you cringe, write hashtag cringe in the comment section below. If you have a set of tiles at home, I challenge you to do random pulls. It's a great way to memorize the Yaku. Don't forget to download this player reference so that you can study. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richie, may all your picks be keepers.